Hey guys, it's Doodle and I'm going to tell you what's in my riding backpack. So I actually have two backpacks that I like to ride with. So I have two summer jackets. One is black and one is red. And whenever I have the black one, just to stand out a little more, I'll use this red one. It's not a motorcycle backpack. It's just cute and waterproof and my favorite color. So I always carry a external battery pack. I know this is ginormous. You can get smaller ones that are the size of like two fingers. I don't know, I, I lost it and then I thought, I have plenty of room, I can get a bigger one that can last longer, especially if I wanna start motorcycle camping this year, I may need more power. And I do have the connection where I can connect my battery f with a USB port so I can charge that way. What they don't tell you is that the old Triumph Street Triple R batteries are positioned in such a way that it takes 30 years to finagle out of your seat. So I just gave up on it. I also carry a dry or waterproof bag for any electronics in case it does rain. I actually had this from scuba diving, but you can also get some for backpack backpacking and camping. Um, one of my girlfriends who rides uh, Triumph Bonneville, she also hikes and backpacks. So all of her camping gear is made to be super tiny and condensed and light, which works perfectly well for packing on your motorcycle too. So. Anyways, I got off topic a little bit there, but I also keep a dry bag in my bag in case I'm riding when it may rain. I don't have any waterproof gear, so I just got this like cheap poncho at the grocery store. I mean, it's not going to help when it comes to riding in the rain because that's still going to feel like bullets if you're going 25 miles per hour or faster. But if anything, if the water is cold, like if it's not in the middle of the summer when it'll actually feel refreshing to be rained on, this will be good for that. Of course, also a pressure gauge because you got to make sure that your tires are good. T-clocks and chapstick. Nobody likes dry lips and my lips always get dry when the wind hits my mouth under the helmet. I guess that's why people wear bandanas under their helmet on their face. I wear a bandana under my helmet on my hair. Just to keep my the inside of my helmet cleaner and fresher. Zip ties come in real handy. One time on my S40 Boulevard, I lost the spring for my kickstand. Until I got that spring back, I just zip tied it shut and every time I had to stop, I just cut it. Selfie stick, gotta document the memories well. I really like to ride by myself. Selfie sticks come in handy very well. I don't have a mirrored visor, so I ride with sunglasses usually. My first helmet, the Icon Armada, did have a, a mirrored visor, which looked really cool, but it, get, it got s scratched up so fast. Now on my showy helmet, I still have the clear visor that it came with, and I just wear these plastic sunglasses underneath. Um, if you do wear sunglasses underneath, please do plastic. One of my friends got in an accident and she was wearing glasses, like prescription glasses, and when the glasses shattered, a piece of glass got lodged into her skull. Please try to avoid that if you can. I also carry my brake fluid covers. I actually don't always use them on my brake fluids because my um, gloves, my Icon gloves, they're really short, so there's a lot of times there's this gap of skin that's exposed when I ride, and I have gotten really dark tan band lines because of it. So lately I've been riding with this, and it's actually pretty faded now. I don't think you can see the tan band anymore from my moto camping weekend last month, but I did get a pair of gauntlet gloves for the summer last week, so I'll probably be able to use this as the brake fluid covers that they are again. I always have snacks. Gotta make sure to always have snacks, especially if you like to ride in the middle of nowhere or up in the mountains where there's not much around, you gonna get hungry. So another thing I, I'll carry sometimes is um, caffeine pills. Not like cocaine, like organic natural caffeine pills that are not too much, just about the amount of caffeine in a, co in a co cup of coffee um, or instant coffee. That way, if since I do love to ride around in the middle of nowhere where there's nothing around, if I get sleepy, then I'll fill up whatever remaining water I have with me. I might put that in some coffee in it or I'll take a caffeine pill so I can perk right up and focus on my ride. Since I have two summer j jackets, 
I wear my red backpack with my black summer jacket and I wear this black backpack with my red summer jacket. This one actually is a motorcycle bag. It's a Viking cycle tank bag. So these magnets keep it on the tank really securely at least 90 miles per hour. Not that I've ever gone that fast on the highway because that's not the speed limit. And it does scuff up the tank a little bit, but it rubs off pretty easily, so I don't really care. And it has straps too, so I can turn it into a backpack pretty quickly. So that's nice too. Now that I'm trying to go motorcycle camping this year, maybe what's in my backpack will develop a lot more things. But for now, these are my motorcycle day trip backpack essentials. Hope it helps. Let me know if there's anything else you always ride with. Okay, bye.